Just a stone's throw away from busy U.S. Highway 19 and Newport Ritchie, you'll find a lot of hardworking people who are trying to live with groups of homeless people. The name Leisure Lane may conjure up images of easy living and the good life. I'm left with 40 to 50 people in a field across the street right now. But that's not what it's been like for Rosa Immel and many of her neighbors. In a vacant field, homeless people have set up camp. Trash abounds and neighbors report rampant drug usage. Race all kinds of cane, cuss, um, throw stuff. I got stuff in my garbage cans now that's not mine. When eight on your side showed up, many scattered, but some stayed to cook burgers on a grill. We're out here on our own, trying to deal with whatever demons we got. Yeah. But you see, wouldn't it be nice if we had a little support? The nearby Homeless Coalition tries to support people in this predicament, but some homeless don't want the help. So there's no place to go? Not for not for a lot of these people, no. No. For me, I, I, uh, I kind of embrace this. I like this. Rosa Immel tells me this has been going on for more than two years. They broke my water pipe. They've used my water. They've taken showers in this driveway. Pasco deputies try to get services for the homeless and work with property owners to have them trespass if they intrude. But it's a constant battle for neighbors and law enforcement. Efforts are underway to revitalize this area. Habitat for Humanity owns this house and several lots on the area, and they plan to build on them. Until then, homeowners and the homeless will have to share. In Pasco County, Peter Bernard, 8 on your side.